I'm going to demonstrate my version 2 transmitter and receiver. Um, both of these are still compatible with the transmitter and receiver I built um, originally, but they have some other desirable uh, benefits. For instance, this transmitter um, is essentially the same except that I've spaced the, the switches, the levers, right next to each other uh, without the, two, the block separating each. And um, using a combination of redstone repeaters and um, some tricks with the redstone repeaters and wires, um, I was able to s spread all of these signals back out to the regular, um, every other block spacing used for the bits in the transmitter. So otherwise, this design is the same as, um, pretty much the same as the transmitter that I showed originally. Over here I have my version 2 receiver. Uh, I only have five bits implemented at the moment because I ran out of room um, in the direction I was building. But uh, this is enough to show the concept. So um, it uses AND gates in a similar way to the other receiver, uh, except instead of transmitting a start pulse along the repeaters to sample each AND gate, I send the actual signal down repeaters for each AND gate. So uh, this is the input signal coming in from downstairs and uh, powers these receivers which um, provide some um, synchronization for a reset signal which I'll describe in a moment. Uh, basically delay the input so that the reset has a time to finish, has enough time to finish. <coughs> then I have repeaters between each AND gate um, the same way that I had repeaters on the other receiver and um, so the input signal comes in through each of these repeaters and finally the uh, at the end of all of these repeaters is a pulse generator and uh, this is a slightly different design for the pulse generator and it includes a RS latch which is implemented by these two torches on either side and um, this pulse generator uh, when the start pulse finally reaches this edge of the this side of the receiver the start pulse is triggered down down this uh, path which is kinda hard to follow but um, actually we can get into it from the other side okay um, right here so that start pulse comes from right over there and under here to the other side of each AND gate. So this is uh, the repeater that the input signal comes in on and the pulse comes in to the other side of the AND gate through these wires and that goes to these torches. So um, the timing is such that the data is in the correct positions, each bit is in the correct position for um, the corresponding AND gate for that bit at the instant that this pulse trigger is, uh, is sent. So when that pulse is sent, all of these AND gates on this side, the in these inputs, um, all um, turn on at the same time. So these, or these torches go off. And if at that instant, um, the corresponding, uh, the input signal at that point in the this repeater chain, if it's on or off, that sets those torches and uh, latches the output to to these latches here, or sends the output to these latches here. So these are just vertical RS latches, same as I used on the other design. And uh, this kind of s up and down pattern for the redstone is just to avoid interference from these torches and um, from some surrounding things. On the back side, um, the structure that kind of obscures some of the some parts of the AND gates. This is actually the way that I get output um, for each bit away from the tr receiver. So um, it's kind of hard to get the output off of the top of this wire over here. So I have it coming out the back. And uh, I took it off for the others. It's the same thing now. And uh, over here I have a logic analyzer using the repeaters that I discussed in another video. I was having some timing issues with this and um, this helped a lot. <coughs> Those repeaters helped a lot. And this big arch over here is just to get some signals to it. That's not actually part of the receiver. 
All right. Um, I guess if you guys have any questions, post in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. Oh, one more thing. Um, the way that I reset everything, the input signal, um, one of the paths the input signal takes is to um, way to the other side over here Oops. to reset the pulse generator, the RS latch on the pulse generator, and then it also the input signal travels to each of these uh, RS latches to reset um, to reset each bit so that it has a it clears out any old data ready to receive the new data and the reason that that works to use the input signal for reset is um, that that signal has stopped changing by the time the pulse finally reaches this end so um, unless you have unless you're transmitting more bits than you have uh, bits in your receiver so like if you're transmitting you know eight or ten bits and I only have five bits here then the uh, input line would still be changing by the time that the pulse was generated, and that would cause problems, but um, assuming you're transmitting the same number of bits as you'd have bits in your receiver with this design, um, that works out pretty well. And uh, another advantage of this is all of the outputs, um, the state for each output is set all at once. It doesn't um, change as the, well, like with the other receiver, <coughs> whenever it runs, each bit turns on or uh, for each bit that's on in the output, it turns on in sequence as the pulse travels down the series of AND gates. On this one, the outputs are all um, set instantaneously. In some cases, that might be a desirable trait, depending on how you're using those signals. So the whole purpose of these um, transmitter and receiver pairs is for a minecart system that I'm building that will allow um, users within the compound to <coughs> set these switches for an address and uh, each combination of switches will represent a certain area of the compound and then an address in that area and um, that information will be sent over a piece of redstone to um, switch stations further down the track that will direct them to their destination so I've got everything uh, all the groundwork laid with uh, the receiver and transmitter here in the lab and so now I'm working on implementing that in an actual minecart system.